children watching are perhaps on lockdown as we speak and sometimes with kids and we know that it's not an easy task to entertain them so here on test 24 we wanted to show you an easy way to impress them but also an easy way to awaken uh, their curiosity when it comes to science with a series of at-home experiments and today uh, we're going to try to demonstrate the third law of motion of newton now you won't need a lot of material all you need is tape a balloon some string and a straw. Newton's third law of motion is the fact that every action has and triggers an opposite and equal reaction. So here is how the experiment works. You're gonna start by blowing up your balloon. And keep it sealed. And then you're gonna attach a string between two chairs here, I've attached it between two beams, and you're gonna tape part of this straw to the top of the balloon. Then you put your string inside of the straw, and there you have it. So we're all set here. I'm gonna let go of the balloon, and when I'm gonna do so, the air is gonna push, is gonna release out of the balloon. That's gonna be our action. Our reaction is the fact that the balloon is gonna be moving forward with the same force, so the opposite way with the same force. Are you ready? Let's go. And there you have it. Well, let's now turn to our in-house expert, Dan and Jay Cattle Car. Tell us a little bit more about what Newton's third law of motion help us discover later on. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Well, this is one of the easiest physics laws to memorize and not that difficult to understand. The classic example of Newton's third law of motion is, of course, rocket propulsion. Now, in a rocket, the fuel undergoes combustion in the engine, which results in the production of hot exhaust gases that escape at great speed through the nozzle. Now, the engine exerts a tremendous force on these gases, which in turn exert an equally powerful force on the engine, which is known as thrust. It is this thrust that lifts the rocket. Now, before we leave you, uh, here's a last fun fact about Isaac Newton. He was actually self-quarantined in 1665 while the bubonic plague was raging. And this is the time when he discovered most of his laws that have to do with optic and motion. Uh, but what's really interesting is that he later uh, described this time as the most intellectually productive period of his life. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's edition of Tech 24, but you can watch it again on our website, France24.com. See you soon.